Hello students, once again welcome to Bhunanath Academy. In this video students, we are going to see what are carbides, how they are classified and we are going to see the preparation, properties and uses of carbides. Okay students, now students, when it will come in examination, how you are going to write the answer. So this way your students, you have to write the answer. So first you have to give the definition of carbides. Carbides, compounds in which carbon combines with the element of similar or lower electronegativity. Students, please pay attention. Lower electronegativity are called carbides. Understand, students? Here, the carbon is combining with element of similar or lower electronegativity, are called as carbides. Understand, students? Carbides can be classified into three main groups. Understand, students? How the class carbides are classified into three main groups: salt-like carbides or ionic carbides. You can say salt-like carbides is also called as what? Ionic carbides. You have colon carbides and third is interstitial carbides. Interstitial carbides. Now, first students, we are going to see the salt like carbide that is ionic carbides when it how it is formed. These are the simple compounds of carbon with more electro positive element. Understand students, please pay attention. Here the word is what more electro positive element in the group second and group third. So this carbon is always combining with the electro positive elements of group. 2 and group 3 say for example beryllium calcium aluminium understanding so when the carbon is combined with these electropositive elements it will form ionic carbides understanding students how you are going to prepare ionic carbide students preparation in general these compounds are prepared by heating metal or its oxide or its hydride with carbon in electric furnace you have to use electric furnace or electric arc so this is the way you can prepare ionic carbides understanding students so you have calcium oxide when react with carbon and it will form calcium carbide and carbon monoxide beryllium oxide react with carbon it will give beryllium carbide that is and carbon monoxide as a gas now aluminium oxide react with carbon and it is forming aluminium carbide and you are getting six molecules of carbon monoxide the more electro positive metals these are the more electro positive metals forms the carbides having physical and chemical properties indicating that they are essentially ionic they are colorless understanding all are what colorless now students, we are going to see the properties of ionic carbides. Once the ionic carbides has been formed, what are the properties it has students? Ionic carbides are observed in transparent crystal form. They are always present in what? Crystal form. They are solid and non-conductor of electricity. Understanding students, second property is what? They are present always in solid form and non-conductor of electricity. Understanding very important property students. When crystals of ionic carbides, when crystals of ionic carbide react with water, dilute acid and what happens students? Hydrolysis will take place and these crystals of ionic carbide will convert into what they will convert into hydrocarbons students very important properties of ionic carbides now students what happens students calcium carbide on hydrolysis when calcium carbides on hydro gives acetylene so called acetylide acetylide understands if you have calcium carbide students if you add the water molecules after hydrolysis students it will form calcium hydroxide and you are getting acetylene carbon carbon triple bond understanding carbon carbon triple bond acetylene so this is very important students Aluminium carbide and beryllium carbide on hydrolysis gives the methane, so called methanide. Understand this means if you have aluminium carbide on hydrolysis, twins, it will give aluminium trihydroxide and you are getting methane. This is the CH4 is methane. If you have beryllium carbide, twins, on hydrolysis, it will give barium dihydroxide and you are getting methane. Now, twins, magnesium carbide on hydrolysis gives aline. If you want to prepare aline, twins, you have to use which carbide? We are going to use magnesium carbide on hydrolysis, gives you aline called as allylide so magnesium carbide and hydrolysis students if you add water molecules so magnesium hydroxide and there's a formation of aline which is important students because we are taking a three carbon so you are getting three carbon carbon unsaturated compound that is called as what aline understanding students so this way students here it is two carbon so you are getting two methane molecules here three carbon three methane group you are getting understanding students here all the carbons are combined and they will form the with double bond and forming aline understanding so this way you can prepare the Compound students. Now, what are the uses students? They are used for synthesis of hydrocarbons that we have seen in the properties. Calcium carbide is widely used in fertilizer industry. Understanding students. Now, students, second types of carbides, students, we are going to see choline carbides. So, first of all, students, how the choline carbides are formed? These carbides contain carbon covalently bonded with element with same electro positive element as carbon are slightly higher than carbon. Understanding students, then only the covalent carbide will form. So carbon is combining with what same electro positive element other than carbon 
then it will form covalent bond understanding how the covalent carbides are formed so this is the definition you have to write students depending upon volatility they are classified into two categories students first category consists of covalent carbide which contains small discrete molecules formed by combination of carbon with hydrocarbons and hydrogen with hydrogen that is hydrogen gas an element of group 6a and and 8a second category consists of giant molecules example students carbon is combined with silicon and you are getting what silicon carbide understand both having what same electropositive element silicon is a what positive electropositive character is similar to carbon so it is forming silicon carbide we are forming giant molecules here students boron react with carbon boron is also similar properties electropositive in presence of electric arc students then only they will combine otherwise they will not combine students you have to use electric arc and forming boron carbide understand silicon carbide and boron carbides are formed now they are, they are giant molecules now students once you prepare students what are the properties this having these compounds are having covalent compound carbides having the first category compounds are gases are volatile liquid they are thermally unstable the second category students carbides are thermally stable and chemically inert solid understanding so now what are the uses students silicon carbide is used as a abrasive understanding students it is used as what abrasive it is used as cutting tools and glass and diamond because it's very hard students and very stable so we can use a, as a what to cut the tools and uh, glass and diamond so these are the uses of the covalent carbides now students we are going to see the third carbides that is called as interstitial carbide so students what are the interstitial carbide how it is how carbides are made up of these are compounds of carbon with transition metal element like titanium zirconium vanadium hafnium niobium etc understand you students so carbon is combining with what transition element like titanium zirconium vanadium hafnium and niobium and it will form the interstitial carbide the how you are going to prepare students this how carbon is combining with this transition element so students preparation should they are prepared by direct combination of carbon and metals they can be also be obtained by reduction of metal oxides with the carbon at higher temperature at high temperature students this transition metal oxides we are directly reacting with the carbon understanding now what happens students once you prepare students how what are the properties they have very high melting point when you see the in distillation compound students they are very high compound they are hard and brittle they are good conductor of electricity they are chemically inert understanding students that we are knowing now what are the uses students they are used for cutting lattices they are used for abrasive purposes they are used as a chemical inert materials so these are the uses of the interstitial compound students they are very very hard because of that nice students these are the uses are there so students if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you